Earlier this evening, we talked about the Auckland Council's clampdown on menacing dogs. Under the new system, owners can register their so-called menacing dogs for free until the end of June. And for $25, their dog can also be de-sexed, microchipped and get a muzzle. But after that period ends, the council will seize any unregistered aggressive dogs and take them to animal shelters. The manager of one of those shelters, Zareen Gerbich, spoke to our reporter, Alex Ashton. Please stand on the mat when you come in, because this has actually got um, a disinfectant in it, which will take any germs that are on your shoes off. Before. This is the Monaco Animal Shelter in South Auckland. The dogs we're about to see have been taken from neglectful homes or pulled off the street. The dogs will have been picked up for either that they have been, they've attacked something, they have been aggressive um, and we don't know who the owners are, or that the dogs have been out straying, or they have been removed from a property because they're unregistered. Many of them are deemed menacing dogs. Most have signs on the front of their cage reading fighter. We would have the largest percentage of menacing type dogs um, in New Zealand come through this shelter. At the moment I might have some in the vicinity of a hundred odd dogs. Um, of those, there would be at least 80 that would be would fit the criteria. Dogs like those, menacing dogs, are the target of the Auckland Council's new crackdown on dangerous dogs. Spurred on by a series of attacks, including one on a seven-year-old South Auckland boy. Jeff Kieber oversees animal control in Auckland. He says of the 3,000 dogs taken into the shelter this year, only 600 were registered, about one in five. Mr Kieber hopes the offer of free registration will change that and help stop all too common dog attacks, 80% of which are on children from dogs they know well. We come along, pick up their dog, impound it, it might get euthanised. Three months later they've got another dog that's caused more problems. We're back on the property, which is a big risk for us because we obviously wouldn't be welcome in that circumstance again. Uh, so it's a cycle that we want to, we want to break. Jeff Kieber says some dogs can never be rehomed. He stresses, though, that the shelter isn't just death row for dogs. Some dogs that get impounded here, by nature of their temperament, and you can see some of these here, they've got fighter, and this one here needs a catch pole on it. Yeah, um, on so it. some of those we're not going to be able to adopt. But the important and key fact here is that the shelter staff are so dedicated to getting these dogs new homes that 100% of all dogs that are adoptable do find a new forever home. After 28 years working in dog shelters, Zareen's seen hundreds of dogs rehomed and hundreds more have to be put down. It doesn't make me angry anymore. Um, there are different reasons for that happening. Um, I believe that people need to think at the beginning, can they afford to have this dog within their family? And I think they're not answering those questions honestly enough to themselves. The tighter rules on dog owners are likely to bump up the numbers in shelters like Monaco which is already 90% full. But Zareen Gerbich says they're prepared to handle an increase and there are other shelters around to house any extra dogs. For Checkpoint, Alex Ashton.